Hello, this is PJ and this is 30 day lead code challenge with PHP level difficulty easy and this is challenge number 11 so let's select a new problem okay so we have a baseball game challenge you are keeping score for a baseball game with strange rules the game consists of several rounds where the scores of past rounds may affect future rounds scores at the beginning of the game you start with an empty record you are given a list of strings where a list of strings ops when ops i is the i operation you must apply to the record and is one of the following so let's have a look at um, an example first case so the input is 5 to cd plus an output is 35 add 5 to the record okay so this is the case one when there is an integer record a new score of x okay to the same 5 add 2 to the record which is 7 um, okay C invalidate and remove the previous score record is now five okay D add two so the record a new score that is double the previous score it is guaranteed there will always be a previous score okay invalidate the previous score remove it from the record is guaranteed there will always be previous score return the sum okay so description wasn't um, that clear but um example i think explains it well now let's have a look at plus here as well record a new score that is the sum of the previous two scores it is guaranteed there will always be two previous scores so we have five here five two now c invalidate the previous score okay so it's five d record a new score that is double the previous score it's currently the obvious previous score record a new score that is double the previous score okay so two times five which is ten and the plus the sum of the previous two scores 15. okay uh, i think that's clear so let's start the timer and what we need to do is so what we need to do definitely is to uh, loop through this ops array and let's try with for each uh, loop okay and this is gonna be a value and first option we can have is if it is an integer I think there is PHP function is integer that we can use. Yeah, or is int. Okay, find whether the type of variable is integer. Okay, so if is integer value, then okay, let's create like some array where we will be storing our numbers before we calculate the sum of it at the end so if it is an integer we will just add this integer to this array okay as a value else if what we can have is a plus so if value equals plus record a new score there's sum of the previous two scores it is guaranteed there will always be two previous scores okay so what we can do is we need to add to this some array some of the previous two scores so probably now the best way um, is let's just see how many elements there is in this array okay and we adding two previous score which means we adding some k 
count minus one, which is the last element, plus count minus two, which is the previous element. So these are the two previous uh, scores from the array. Okay, so else if value equals D, and D means record a new score that is double the previous score. It is guaranteed there will always be previous score. Double the previous score. Okay. So again, we need that count here. And we just need to take the last element and double it. Okay. And then I'll save value can be C so invalidates invalidates the previous score removing it from the record it's currently also the previous score okay so what we can do I think there's a function like pop array pop yeah so it pops element uh, of the array which means it removes the last element of the array so that should work for us okay so there will be some array equals array pop some array okay uh, and now what we need to do is to add all these uh, elements and we can use this array sum function in uh, php so what we can do is just return array sum of some array okay uh, and yeah that should be uh, that should be it so let's try if that code works okay and it is a wrong answer so let's see and let's try to analyze the code again if we are doing and why it is zero where it shouldn't be zero okay so i think the reason being is that although it says it can be an integer these are actually not integers these are strings um in this array as inputs so what we need to do now is so what we can do we can try to use this int val function so we should get an integer from from this value so instead of checking if it's an integer just uh, convert it to an integer mm, and then hopefully uh, should work because if that is true then you will uh, add this uh, integer here and let's cast it also to integer so you will add it as an integer to an array okay let's try to run the code now okay so that it's that is still uh, the wrong answer so let's try to modify a few things so for example let's create like int uh, variable here and then let's check if that int variable is greater than zero okay let's try it uh, let's try it now i don't think we need that casting here because that will then change we can use that value instead okay let's try to run the code okay so that is strangely still incorrect so let's analyze the code again so I think the mistake I'm making is here um, because this work function will actually remove the um, last element of the array which is going to be integer and then create this as a variable here so at the end we're going to have integer not an array so I think we need to do something else i think what we need to do is to use uh, the array slice function to remove the previous score so let's have a look at this function so array slice so we give it array offset and then length yeah so 
again we need to count elements here and then our slice is going to be our array offset is going to be zero because we want from the beginning and count uh, is going to be minus uh, two because we want to remove uh, as actually no it's going to be minus one um, okay because we want to remove just last element and then that should remain then array without the last uh, element so let's see if that's going to work yeah and that seems to be working so let's try uh, for all the examples from from here okay so we have another problem so let's see there is an issue with uh, the second example so let's try to analyze there is a minus number which may be causing some uh, issues okay so all right because we have i think we can just um, leave it like this so this should account for numbers greater than zero and uh, below zero okay let's see if that was gonna work okay yeah and that works uh, much better so i think the mm, problem is solved so let's try to submit it okay yeah and that works and it's faster than 66 percent and using less memory than 66 percent of other php submissions so it took a while i think the bigger issue was that these are actually all strings and we had to convert them to to integer yeah i'm not uh, but i'm yeah but otherwise uh, and we had also problem with this array pop here that was a uh, wrong uh, function used here but um uh yeah we overcame all these problems and hopefully also learned something at the same time as well okay if you have any comments let me know in the comment section below the video otherwise uh, this uh, problem is solved this was problem number 11 and thank you very much for watching and see you again in the next challenge thank you bye bye